Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, this is something I've seen quite a few people doing and so I thought that I would give it a try and do something a little bit different. So I'm going to do a bookshelf tour of all my books and the shelves and what I have on them and everything. Um, I figured I would do it now because I'm kind of at a like set place where I'm not going to be changing my bookshelves around too much. Um, for the foreseeable future, I'm running out of space and there's not that much room in this room so things are pretty much set for now so I figured I would do it now and then I can do another one in the future like once we move or um, something you know if I end up moving things around but I don't like I said I don't think I will um, so I figured I would just do it now as it currently is since it's pretty settled and it's gonna be this way for a while so yeah let's get into it okay guys so I just wanted to show you kind of what my bookshelves look like from far away just as a whole and then if you've seen any of my reading vlogs or my bookstagram, you know that I have my BTS um, photo cards all up here. I am going to take these off as, um, before I go through the books because I know that I'm going to end up knocking them down. They fall down pretty easily and I know it's just going to annoy me. So I'm going to take them off and then I'll go through and I'll show you guys all the different shelves. But yeah, I have them just all in front. of my books and I really like how this looks. I know a lot of people keep their photo cards like in binders but um I prefer to have them out like where I can see them. It just makes me happy so yeah I'm gonna pull those down and then I will start up at the top of the bookshelf and work my way down. Okay so we're gonna start at the top here. Um this shelf is mainly just like decoration. Eventually I'm gonna have to expand and um, use those for actual book space uh, because I am running out of space but for right now as you can see there's just decoration up there so I have these owls back here if you can see um, there's three of them back there and they actually um, illustrate like the um, I think it's I don't remember the order of it but I think it's like hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil so a little owl there is covering his like ears for hear no evil and then uh, see no evil and speak no evil. We had those in our bedroom like years ago um, but they don't really match our color scheme now and we don't really have anywhere to put them And but I didn't want to get rid of them because I like them um, and owls have like a special meaning in my family. Um, for my aunt who passed away, so I didn't want to get rid of them, so I just have them up there. And then these Harry Potter, Harry Potter Funko Pops. Um, my husband got me these for Christmas this past year. They're super, super cute. I really like them. So I have those up there, and then you can see I have um, these fairy lights strung throughout the bookshelves. I got those off Amazon. I have another string of lights that I'm going to put up on my other bookshelf. Um, but let me tell you, those were a pain to get up there so I have, just haven't done it yet um then you can't really see it but back here there's a red sign um that says a dream is a wish your heart makes um from Cinderella and I just really like that sign so I have it back there but in November I think it was uh these Lord of the Rings um prints came in my owl crate box and I really like them so eventually I'm gonna get a frame and put them in a frame so I don't have them up here so I'm not covering that sign but right now that's just how I have them and then this is a um a card that Ray sent me the picture she sent me and then um a Tinkerbell figurine that I have I love Tinkerbell Peter Pan it's one of my favorite um fairy tales and I love anything Disney so that is that I've had that for years since I was like a teenager also so um and then and then this back here is a Harry Potter or not Harry oh, I guess it's kind of Harry Potter it's a Newt Scamander um puzzle that came in an out crate box last year sometime um so I just have that up there because I love the cover or the box that it's in um so yeah that's everything that's up there and then if we move down to the next shelf, I have this garland hanging up here. That's also from Owl Crate. Uh, I don't remember when it came. I think sometime in 2020. Uh, and then this Lord of the Rings um, flag. It's meant to be, like, 
to be used to put your pins on each month. Um, but I have another pin flag over there that I'll show you guys, or a pin banner. Um, and I like this one because it has the map from Lord of the Rings, so I'm trying not to put pins in it. Um, but yeah, I just have that hanging there. And then to get into my actual books, um, I'll tell you how many... Uh, I meant to count how many books I had before I started, but I forgot. Um, so I'll tell you at the end how many total I have. But there are actually quite a few that I haven't read, and one of my goals for 2021 is to read uh, more of books that I own instead of buying new ones or just getting them from the library because I do have a lot of books on here that I have not read yet. Um, and most of my books are either um, Book of the Month or Alcrate, so you'll see a lot of those. Um, but I have The Two Lives of L Lydia Bird. Um, I have not read this yet. It's a Book of the Month. The Space Between Worlds is a Book of the Month. I haven't read that either. The Vanishing Half, same, I haven't read it. Um, the Grace Year, my husband got me that for Christmas, um, which I need to read soon. Red, White, and Royal Blue is one of my favorite books of 2019. Yeah, 2019. I meant to reread it last year and I never got to it, so I'm hoping to get to it this year. Daisy Jones and the Six was another great book. With the Fire on High, Fountains of Silence. I want to say I started this, but I didn't finish it. Um, but I really like this author, so I need to get to that one. Goddess in the Machine, that was a Alcrate book fairly recently, I think in the fall sometime. So I need to get to that one. Then I have Muse of Nightmares, which I have Strange the Dreamer down on my other shelf. Which reminds me, I didn't mention that these are sorted by color, which you can pretty much tell. But um, yeah, so I have Muse of Nightmares, which I have not read yet. Um, this is a book that my husband's grandfather, who has since passed away, gave to him or had for a long time. So my husband like didn't want to get rid of it. So I just have it there. Uh, Illuminate, which I loved. Um, which is, was actually on my favorites list for last year. Um, and then I have Gemini down underneath also, which I haven't gotten to yet. And then I have Pursued, which is a book that my pastor wrote. Um, and then Unburdened, which is another uh, book written by another pastor. Um, Suicide House, this is um, an arc that I was sent. Wicked Saints, this is I got one of the very first books I got from Alcrate. If not the first book I got from Alcrate, um, which I loved. That was on my best um Best list for 2020 also. The Paper Daughters of Chinatown was also on that list. This is an ARC. I definitely want to get a final copy of it because that was such a good book. I really, really enjoyed it. So I definitely want to get a final copy of that. Uh, then A Court of Thorns, Thorns and Roses, which I actually just finished reading uh, last night. So that's on there. And then I have Crown of Midnight and Queen of Shadows from the Throne of Glass series. Um, these, a former co-worker of mine... Um, she actually first lent me her copies of A Court of Thrones and Roses, you know, the whole series. Um, and I loved those. I blew through those and then gave them back to her and loved it so much that I went out and bought my own copies. And then the same coworker let me borrow her entire, like, collection of the Throne of Glass series. However many books there are, like seven or eight of them. Or maybe more. I don't even know. Um, and then it was super sweet when her husband bought her a new set with like the new covers or something bought her the whole set I think maybe she was missing something I don't remember but for some reason her husband bought her a new set and she actually let me keep her old one so um these were a gift which is super cool I haven't finished that series I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it I actually like the series and the plot line and the characters and everything the books are just so long and it, I feel like it takes me forever to get through them and um I just haven't been able to do it it took me like Two months just to get through one book um because i kept just getting like distracted with other stuff um but i think queen of shadows is actually the book that i'm on so i do want to try to finish that this year um then i have edge of everyone which is a um children's book uh which is also an arc that i received scythe um which was one of my favorite books of 2019 um i really loved crown of feathers is from alcrate which i think the sequel either comes out this year or it came out last year, I don't remember, but that was pretty good. Four Dead Queens was one of the first books I got from um, Alcrate also, and I loved that. That's a great, great standalone. Um, so much world building and, like, character, like, development for a standalone. I really liked it. Um, Ash Lords, I think, is a, oh yeah, a book of the month I haven't gotten to. American Dirt is a book of the month I haven't gotten to. So it's beyond the point. Um, this is actually about, like, 9-11, and I think three, three women who, like, survived 9-11... Um, or maybe they're firefighters or something. They have something to do with 9-11, but I'm really, um, I've been looking forward to reading that one. I need to get to it. It's just pretty big. Um, The Genome Odyssey, which is a nonfiction arc that I was sent. You have a match. If you've been on my bookstore lately, you know that I 
Love that book. I love Emma Lord. Um, that is an arc that I received, but I need to go out and buy a finished copy. Um, Winterwood. And then Good Morning, Good Life. This is a nonfiction um, from a YouTuber and author that I really like, um, Amy Landino. Um, I'll link her channel below. I love her, all of her stuff. Her um, videos are so good. Her videos are so good. And I got this book um, last year, early last year. I think it, either I got it for Christmas or I got it like early last year and read it and as you can see I just tabbed like the heck out of it because there was just so much good stuff in there and I went into the year like super motivated and excited and then you know 2020 happened but one good thing that has come out of 2020 and I do think a lot of it has to do with this book be is that I have now since become like I wouldn't say I'm a morning person but I definitely I wouldn't say that I'm a morning person but I definitely wake up a lot earlier than I ever have before um and it's not as big a deal as it used to be. So I definitely think um, that this book was a big part of that. So, and I have, I, every once in a while I'll go back and I'll kind of flip through it and read through the main points that I tabbed. And um, I definitely want to go through and read it fully again because I just love it. Um, e Pray, Love, which I've had forever and I haven't read. Um, Screw Tape Letters by C.S. Lewis. I need to read also. I love, um, I have a few other C.S. Lewis books somewhere. I may not have all of them on this shelf. I know I have my set of um, The Chronicles of Narnia, but I have some others too, but I don't know if they're on the shelf. Um, and then I have the story, which is like um, the Bible, but to told in like, uh, through like a fic fictional story, like as an actual like novel or like narrative, not through like the scripture, um, which I actually haven't read, but I really want to. Um, the Silent Patient was on my best reads of 2020 as well. Um, Torn is another book that my pastor wrote. The Age of Light is a book of the month that I started and I believe I DNF'd it. Um, The Secret History I need to read. I want to get to that this year. Um, The Pillars of the Earth. Uh, my brother gave me this last Christmas and uh, he said that it's one of his favorite books ever, if not his actual favorite book ever. And so I want to get to it, um, sometime this year also. I have, um, The Companion to Lord of the Rings. I have this old set of um Lord of the Rings coming up over here I've had these um my mom's ex-husband's brother gave these to me when I was really young I've always loved to read so I think he too when I was like six or seven and I still have them because I love them but I have a as much as I love the movies Lord of the Rings I cannot stand the books I have tried reading the Lord of the Rings series probably seven or eight times in my life and Every time I get like halfway through the Fellowship of the Ring and I just, I can't do it. Um, even though I love the books. I mean the movies. Um, so yeah, that's that. And I have more of the rest of the series um, further on in the shelf. And then this is Bringing Down the Duke, which I haven't read yet. Another Throne of Glass, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And then this is my pin banner with all of my Alcrate pins. This is starting to fill up though, so I think I'm going to have to start using the other Lord of the Rings one. I may try to fit some more just, as you see, I've kind of already started, just on the edges and fit like as many as I can on here before I start using the other one. So I'm going to come back. I'm kind of going right to left. So I'll come back over here. I have Anxious People by Frederick Bachman, which I need to read because I read um, Bear Town last year. I don't remember if it was in 2019 or 2020. And that um, was one of the best books I've ever read. And was one of the few books that has ever made me so angry that I literally had to like put the book down and walk away. Um, so I'm really excited to read this because I really enjoy his writing. Um, Nicholas Sparks, this is an arc, which I have been reading Nicholas Sparks for years, uh, for as long as I can remember. So to be approved for an arc of it was really, really exciting. Um, so I need to get to that one. Which is, is one of the few graphic novels that I own because I don't read very many of them. Um, this, I think, came in an Owlcrate box, which I did read it and it was okay. Um, Spin the Dawn, which I really liked. I think the sequel is either out this year or came out last year. I really, really liked Spin the Dawn, so I definitely want to read the next book in the series. Um, the Golden Hour, which is a book of the month I haven't read. Sacred Marriage is just like a faith-based book about marriage. Um, Well Met. So many people love this book, and I actually DNF'd it. I didn't love it. Um, I still have it because I love the color, and I love how it looks on my shelf. But I didn't love the book itself. Thunderhead. Um, in a Holidays. This, um, I was approved for an arc of In a Holidays and I read it in like October and I loved it so much that I ordered it through Book of the Month when I saw that it was available. Uh, The Toll. Here's another of those Harry Potter, I mean, 
Lord of the Rings, uh, The Two Towers, Court of Wings and Ruin, Air of Fire, um, The Flight Portfolio, which is the book of the month, The Guild of Wolves, that was on my best list for last year, Mexican Gothic, that's another one that is super popular and people really like, and I just wasn't loving it. I don't know if I just wasn't in the mood, um, because I had just done like a huge thriller, like mystery, um, like horror, like marathon kind of, um, in I think September or October. And so I think by the time I got to Mexican Gothic, I was just kind of over it. And it, like, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't holding my attention. So I think I'll eventually go back to it. I just didn't love it the first time. Legendary, which is part of the, like, oh, I think it's Caraval, um, series, which I haven't gotten to yet. I need to, um, the Memoirs of Cleopatra, this thing's huge, it's like a thousand pages. Um, you can see it's like super big. I've read this thing twice and I really like it. Um, it is historical fiction. Um, it's like loosely based on Cleopatra's life, but a lot of it is like um, like dramatized and made more like fantastical than what probably actually really happened. Um, but I really like it. Like I said, I've read it twice and I definitely want to read it again eventually. Um, Tightrope, which is a book of the month, I need to read. Beach Read, I still haven't read. I know a lot of people really like it. Gemini, I need to read. Like I said, I really enjoyed Illuminae, so I need to get to this one sometime this year. And these are so fast because of the, um, like, the format, you know, with the, the files and everything. So I definitely think it's a quick read. I just need to kind of get to it and put the time aside. Okay, so then we have Martin McQueen, Middle School Queen. This is an arc I got last year. I really, really liked it. That was actually one of my best reads for the year also. Uh, Dave Ramsey, he does like financial um, stuff and he's like faith-based. That's his book. Um, Kingdom of Back. I think this was an all great book also. I haven't gotten to The Lost Wonderland Diaries is a um, like middle grade um, arc that I received. Bone, Bone Cries Moon. That's an all great I need to get to. If you can see there's a theme here. Um... Another Throne of Glass, The Guinevere Deception, um, and Reverie, which I really liked, Tower of Dawn, uh, Havenfall, um, I really like this one as well, and the, um, the sequel comes out sometime this year, I think, um, so I am excited for that. Another Throne of Glass, Throne of Glass, Embassy of the Dead is another middle grade arc that I received, um, the Tattooist of Auschwitz. I read that, I think, in 2019, and I really liked it. Strange of the Dreamer. Um, this is a... This Dream Guide is um, a book that a YouTuber, um, Adam Hatton, that I really like. I'll look him, link him below. He's a Disney YouTuber. This is, like, a book that he wrote um, about, uh, like, planning a trip to Disney World. Um, or actually, this is the cru Cruise Line edition, Disney Cruise Line, but he has for Disneyland as well. I mean, Disney World as well. Um, All Stars and Teeth, I haven't gotten to that one, but I think the sequel to that comes out this year also. Um, The Woman in the Window, that was really good. I think there's a movie coming out with Amy Adams, I think. Um, who's going to play the main character. This was a really good book and I'm excited to see, I think it's a movie, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then Mom vs. Dad, that's an arc I received. Um, In the Times of Rain and War is an arc of a, um, historical fiction. I hope you get this message. Another, yet another outgrade book that I need to read. Caraval, I need to read that. We Hunt the Flame. Um, I read all of We Hunt the Flame, but I didn't really like it. Um, I think I just may not have been in the mood for it. So I, I want to try it again um, and see if maybe I um, kind of just get more out of it the second time around. Uh, like I said, these lights are a pain. Um, House of Salt and Sorrows, I read that in September or October and I really liked it. Then coming further down... We have Crier's War, which is another outcrit I need to read. Scavenge of Stars, I read that last year, um, and I really liked it. It's a retelling of The Count of Monte Cristo, which is one of my all-time favorite books, so I really love that one. So then we have All the Stars and Teeth. Um, I actually have two copies of this. Um, I got one through Book of the Month, not realizing that it was also going to be the outcrit book. So I have two copies. I would probably um, just gift one to a friend. Um... Because I obviously don't need two copies of it. Uh, then I have Wicked Fox, which is a Christmas present. I'm super excited to get to that. Uh, Sorcery of Thorns. I read that 
either last year or in 2019, I don't remember, but I really liked it. Uh, finale, and then I have, uh, then I have the Five Love Languages book, um, that I refer back to every once in a while. Um, Once in Future, I actually had two copies of this, and then I sent Ray a second copy. Um, this was pretty good, it wasn't like a five star for me, but it wasn't bad. Lock Every Door, I read that last year. Where the World Ends is another one I need to read. Before She Knew Him, that's a thriller I read last year. Uncaged uh, is another book by my um, pastor. People of the Second Chance is by a guest pastor that comes to our church often. Uh, the Uncensored Truth Bible is a it's a, a Bible, but um, it has notes and um, like um, kind of like journal entries throughout it, uh, written by my pastor. Uh, and then Ninth House, Ten Thousand Doors of January, which I have not read, but I've heard is really good. Romanov, which I did not love, which uh, I was really disappointed because I love um, any stories having to do with um, Anastasia. Um, and I was really looking forward to that, and then it ended up being disappointing. Uh, the Beautiful, The Shadows, I read that. I actually liked it more than The Whisper Man by Alex North. Um, the Book of Longings, which I've heard is really good, but I have not gotten to another Nicholas Sparks book. That's The Rescue. It's an older one. Uh, Cersei, which I loved. Where Dreams Ascend or descend i was really excited for where dreams descend when it came out um and then i started it and i literally got like three pages in and i think i just wasn't in the mood for it so i will try again with that at some point among the beasts and briars same thing that happens to me a lot i'll start a book i'll be really excited for a book and then i'll start it and realize that um i don't want to read it <laughs> it's not necessarily that the book itself is bad um or that i'm not gonna like it i just i'm not in the mood for it so i end up just putting it down and um i have a shelf on my goodreads um where i keep like dnfs and then i just for once in a while i'll go back through it and see if there's anything that i want to try again so that's definitely one as well as where dreams descend these violent delights same thing um i got two copies one through Alcrate and one through book of the month so i'll end up gifting one the host i read that last year with connor from uh, i think his channel is called connor's book book corner i think it is i'll tag him below we did a buddy read of that um almost a year ago now we both really liked it um, Incendiary, I need to read that. This is another copy of The Fellowship of the Rings. This is more like a mass, like, mass-produced, you know, paperback. Uh, I'll probably end up unhauling that at some point. Um, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. It's another one that I was really excited for. Started and just didn't want to finish. But I'll go back to that eventually. Horrid, I read that last year. I really liked it. Um, The Kite Runner is one of my all-time favorite books. Um, I'm actually due for a reread. I've read it two or three times i think um but it's been several years so i want to get back to it again uh the 50 shades books i think i'm missing one um salvation station that's an arc i was sent the return of the king beautifully broken is a um like non-fiction like autobiography um i need to get that one to that one that's an arc uh star daughter uh was another outcry book that i need to get to um and then i have this special edition phantom of the opera um book that my husband got me for Christmas which I love so it's kind of on display there and then I just have this picture of myself with my grandmother aunt and cousin and then coming down here I have to move things around down here these are the bottom shelves and I have kind of stuff like um you can see like layered behind each other so I may need to move stuff around here a little bit picture of my husband on our wedding here JK I love that picture of him this is one of my all-time favorite pictures of him if not my probably is my all-time favorite picture of him um then back here i have these um full set of all of the uh chronicles of narnia that's one of my all-time favorite series um and i found those at a thrift shop last year i think it was um and they were all like a dollar each so i just bought the whole set so i would have the whole matching set I have my Harry Potter books. These are, as you can see, there are dust jackets missing. They are battered and torn and the spines are broken. Um, except for the, um, the Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, these are all the original books that I, um, was gifted when I was a kid. I think Harry Potter, I think the Sorcerer's Stone came out when I was, like, 10 or 11. So I was right, like, at the same age as Harry. Um, and I absolutely love them. They came out, like, every summer in June at my birthday. is June 20th. So every year for, you know, however... I don't know if it was, like, one book a year that came out. But I don't remember. But 
every year that the books released, they came out right around my birthday. So that was my birthday gift every time. And I would immediately just sit down and read them. Um, I have such vivid memories of like one, knowing what my birthday present was going to be, knowing that I was going to get them because I did every year. Um, and then of reading them, like I remember reading, um, the prisoner of Azkaban at my grandparents' house. I used to spend a lot of time at my grandparents' house as a kid, um, sitting in their hallway, um, literally like bawling my eyes out when um harry realized that he wasn't going to be able to go live with sirius and he was going to have to go back to the dursley's house um i cried so hard um it just really resonated with me my childhood wasn't always the easiest um, or the best and so having seeing harry like think that he was going to get away from everything that the dursleys put him through to then just realize that he like, it had been a fluke, and he was actually going to have to go back to the Dursleys, and just his emotions with that just broke my heart, and I could really, like, relate to it and identify with it, and I still remember that moment, like, clearly, like, my grandfather found me sitting in his hallway crying over this book, and he had no idea what was going on, <laughs> um, so, yeah, these are all, like I said, the originals, that's why they're so, like, battered, I've read them all, I don't even know how many times, somewhere along the line, I lost my Sorcerer's Stone, I'm pretty sure my brother has it, um, because I used to read Harry Potter to all my brothers growing up, I'm the oldest, um, and I'm pretty sure he has mine, but I wanted to have a full set, um, because I was going to do a reread last year. I ended up not doing that, but, so I bought a new one just so I could have the full set. Um, and then back here, you can't really see it. I'm going to have to, so back here, this really cute, like, um, mailbox with an owl on it. Like I said, I keep anything that has owls on it. My former boss gave that to me, uh, for Valentine's Day one year. She gave them to all of us, um, but underneath it, I have... Um, I don't know if you guys remember those, like, um, I forgot what they're called, like, Dear America books, and they're, like, from different time periods throughout, like, American history, so these two are, um, during, like, the bombing of Pearl Harbor, and then the other one is, like, during the Civil War, and it's, like, these teenage girls, and it's, you're basically reading their diaries. I used to love those when I was a kid, um, I had one, I don't know where it went, but I used to have one that was also, um like, a girl who was on the Titanic when it sank. Um, I don't have that one anymore. I don't know what happened to it, but I have those. I love those from my childhood, and then I also have The Secret Garden, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, and I also have Little Women in this, um, this style. Um, I don't have it on here right now, but, um, I love those. Those are all from my childhood. I've had those for years and years, so I want to keep those so that someday if I have kids, I can pass them along to them along with this set of Harry Potter. Okay, so then down here, this last shelf is just kind of a mix of random stuff. Eventually, this stuff is probably going to end up going away because I'm going to need to use this shelf um, for books as I accumulate them. So this may change eventually. But I have this giant, um, oh, these lights. Um, this giant Hamilton, um, it has like pictures of set designs and costume designs and a bunch of stuff for the Broadway play. I love um, Hamilton, so I have that. I have this old ledger that my husband's grandmother gave him from, um, his grandfather used to own his own business, and we have, we kept that because it has, like, his grandfather's handwriting in it and his grandmother's handwriting in it, um, so we kept that, and that's just there. Uh, this is, like, a recipe book. Um, then I have Pioneer, Pioneer Woman recipe book, which I never use, um, so I don't know how long I'll keep that, but, um, I have a Bible, um, these journals that we got at church, um, this, so this is all more, like, our, um, faith-based stuff, um, stuff from our church, um, this is a, um, like, um, creative Bible that has, like, coloring pages and stuff in it that I got, um, couple years ago but I, I didn't really use it very often um then I have the first bible that I got when my husband or after my husband and I got baptized um and it's kind of falling apart now if you can see the um like the spine came apart um so I don't use it as much anymore um but I still have that this is the BTS journal that I started um last year when I became ARMY um that I ended up not using as much because I discovered Notion and now I keep stuff on there um but I obviously didn't want to get rid of it so I still have that and then I have this project book. Uh, it's like calligraphy um, stuff that I look at every once in a while when I'm doing bullet journaling. Um, the God of Yes is another book by my um, or by our, our pastor. This is a um, like wood print thing that came in an owl crate box. Um, 
these are little those little like extra books that come in outgrade okay, boxes the tea dragon society um which i really liked was cute i need to get the actual like ones or more of those um what to expect before you're expecting my husband and i got that when we first became um ttc or trying to conceive that was three years ago um and we pretty much know all the information in here so we don't really use that anymore um these are all workbooks that we received when we used to do um, groups at our church. This is the very first, um, it's not like an actual Bible, um, but it has, it's kind of like the story up I had on the other shelf. Um, it's like um, scripture, like Bible stories uh, for kids. And I have had this, um, I don't even know how long, my entire life, for as long as I can remember. Um, I've had this, I remember reading this when I was a kid. Um, and so again, another one to kind of pass along to my kids someday, hopefully, if we are able to have them at some point. Um, this is a book of poems that my aunt actually wrote. Uh, it's self-published. Um, she wrote that, God, it's probably been like 15 years now, probably longer, maybe even longer, maybe like 20 years. Um, we actually, we used to be really close. Um, we don't speak as much now, um, for a variety of reasons, but, um, because we, like I said, when I was a kid, we were really, really close when I was growing up. And so there are a few poems in there um, about me and our relationship. And um, she was really close with my dad who passed away when I was little. So I think there are a couple of things about him in there as well. So I just haven't been able to um, get rid of it. Even though, like I said, we don't really speak anymore. Um, then I have two Bibles that we received from our church. And then this is another... One that I've had since I was a kid. It's like a daily prayer and like devotional. Um, so same thing. Just keeping that. You know. So hopefully Sunday when we have kids. We can use that. And then um, like another daily prayer thing for adults. Um, and then another one of those prints from Alcrate. And then I have the Six of Crows duology. Um, which my friend Lauren was super nice um, to send to me all the way from the UK um, for Christmas. I definitely want to get to those this year. I haven't read those. Um, but I really like Leo Bardugo, so I am excited to read that. Um, and then, so that's it for my actual bookshelves. Um, that's everything I have now. The good thing about these bookshelves is that they're actually pretty wide. Um, there's a lot of space behind, so if I really wanted to, I could do another, like, set of books behind it if I really needed the space. So I may end up doing that at some point, um, if I like, completely run out of space, because I don't have space for another bookshelf in here. Um, this room's pretty small. This room's pretty small, so, um, I can't really fit another bookshelf in here. I have my printer and, like, laminator and stuff over there, and there's no space over here, so I don't have space for another bookshelf. So, um, I'll probably have to just kind of work around and figure out, move some of the decorative stuff around, um, when I need space, and then I'll eventually just have to start, like, unhauling stuff that I'm not reading. Um, but I know I said this was a bookshelf tour, but I also have another shelf in here. Um, that has some stuff on it, and I figured I would go through this one as well. So up here we have, well first we have these bottles of the BTS coffee that they sell. I can only find these in one place. There's a, um, like, um, Japanese store in our mall that sells, like, all kinds of, like, anime stuff and K-pop stuff and, like, Hello Kitty and all that stuff. Um, and that's the only place that I've been able to find these coffees. And so whenever we go to the mall, I grab like one or two. Because uh, they're pretty expensive. They're like $4 each. Um, so these are the four that I've gotten so far. I want to get one. There's two different kinds. There's a hot brew and a cold brew. I would love to get each for each member. Um, but that's like 14 bottles. So I don't know if I'll end up doing that. I may just end up with one. Um, just one bottle for each of them. So these are the four that I have for now. Behind there you can kind of see are our bride and groom Mickey ears. We went to Disney World for our honeymoon and we got those. And then we have the groom Mickey bride mini that my aunt or my godmother gave us um, for our wedding. Uh, the picture of me and my husband back there. There's a little crown thing back here. You can't really see it. Um, well, there you can kind of see it. Um, I wore that to my bachelor, or not my bachelor, but my bridal um, shower. We just had brunch. Um, my aunts flew in. And two of my cousins flew in. One of my cousins surprised me. Uh, I didn't know she was coming. And she just like popped up at the restaurant. We had brunch at um, a restaurant on the strip. And I wore that little crown thing. Um, picture of my husband and I. Uh, a wedding picture. Litter board with BTS lyrics. Some pictures. 
Um, these are pictures. This was actually at our wedding. We had this out at like a memorial table. Um, this is my dad, my cousin, and my aunt who have all passed away and were unable to be at our wedding. Um, so we had that at a memorial table and so I have it here. Um, these are little, little like favors we had, we gave away at our wedding. Um, so we've since, we had a ton left over. Um, we just made too many. Um, so I have kept one and then I have my humidifier, or not humidifier, but diffuser and some scents here. These are all candles that I've gotten from Alcrate. Um, I have another candle here from Bath and Body Works. Down here I have two of the graphic lyrics, lyric books, um, the BTS graphic lyric books. I have Save Me and Run. Um, these are, I think, I think I recorded unboxings of these. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, I'll have to go back and look. Um, if not, maybe I'll do a separate video on those. But they're beautiful. Um, there's, I think, two or three more um, to complete the set that I want to get. Um, but I'm running out of space, like I said, to display stuff. Um, these are all my albums that I have. So these are all my BTS albums. I have the all four versions of the Map of the Soul 7. I have the School Love Affair um, Special Edition B, which is the latest album. I have the BTS World soundtrack. This is a little magazine that came in the um, Season's Greeting. I did an unboxing for that recently. Uh, Persona. And then um, Love Yourself um, Answer. And then um, the Oh Are You Late uh, 2 album. And then this is this came in the B um, album. If you saw my unboxing, you saw that. This is Yoongi's painting, so I have that displayed. I have these box of postcards that I got at that same Japanese store that I got the coffees up there from. Um, so I just have the box. That's a little um, like trinket box thing from Owl Crate. I have my one of my Harry Potter mugs from Owl, Owl Crate. Um, this little owl. Uh, this came in the season's greeting as well. Has the Polaroids in it. These are decks of cards that came with Alcrate, my little Alcrate speaker, and then another Harry Potter mug. And then I have um, my JK Vampire print, which I love. Ray gave me that for my birthday. Um, my uh, J Hope Funko Pop. And then these are all. These are just binders, like this is our wedding binder where I had like all the stuff, um, all the information, everything when I was planning our wedding. We paid for our entire wedding ourselves. Well, not entirely, my grandmother helps with some of it, but like 90% of it we paid for ourselves. Um, and so this is where I kept everything, receipts for everything, everything. So I have that as just like, you know, a keepsake. Um, these are just like binders with random stuff in them, some photo albums, um, and then more photo albums, scrapbooks and stuff. And these are all old bullet journals uh well actually not all of them Mo these are all old planners and bullet journals and then these are old like prayer journals and where i kept like notes from sermons and stuff um but yeah these are all old bullet journals i've been bullet journaling probably four or five years now at least um so yeah that is everything on this shelf so that is it for my book shelf tour for now um i may at some point maybe like i'll do one like once a year or something or when we end up I think we'll end up being in this house for another couple of years. So maybe after we move and I eventually have a new setup, I'll do it then. Um, yeah, that is everything for now. I will see you guys in my next video.